Hi Scott, uh, I am Willie from Singapore and thank you very much for making this uh, awesome podcast. I really appreciate them as I'm growing my Amazon business using your tips and tricks. Thank you very much. Uh, just a quick question is that uh, I have a hot selling product that is selling on Amazon about 100 units a day and recently I have an uh, imitator that has exactly the same image as me and exactly the same listing with similar descriptions as me but the only difference is that the imitator has a different logo on the product but everything else is the same even the packaging so worst part is that the imitator is taking away quite a number of sales from me so uh, should I patent my hot selling product to knock the imitator off or should I just ignore it and move on to the next product as I feel that the imitator may, may actually patent his or hers first and knock me off instead. Thank you. Hey, Willie from Singapore. Wow, man. Number one, it's awesome that you're calling from or your voicemail is from Singapore. That's crazy. That's awesome. And uh, the other thing is 100 units a day, man. Congratulations to you. That is phenomenal. Uh, that's really, really exciting. Uh, now, to answer your question, which I think I understand, is that you have a really hot selling product, and now you have a competitor that has the same product just with their logo on it. Well, welcome to private labeling. That's pretty much what's going to happen if you have a product that you are just private labeling that doesn't have any custom features in it to, to you. Now, that would be my question. Is this something that you created? Is this something that you had manufactured? Did you have a, a custom mold made? Or is this just something that you found with the basic box, you know, with the basic packaging, and then you just put your logo on it. If that's the case, there's nothing wrong with doing that. And that's the problem that people are starting to see is that how do you separate yourself from people that are going to do that exact same thing? And really, my advice on that would be to, number one, have better customer service. A lot of people don't value that, but it's really, really big. Um, try to have useful resources for these people. Again, so this way here you can connect with those people and, and give them more of an education uh, as far as how to use the product. And then the other thing would be to try to add an accessory with it so that way there it totally separates the two. Now, you mentioned that you possibly would want to have this patented. Well, you'd have to look into that. I'm not sure if it can be patented. It might already be patented for all you know, unless you've done your research and, and, you've, and you've kind of seen that. But if, I mean, I'm thinking that it's probably just a private label, you know, supplier that is allowing other people to sell this product. Now, you would have to then create your own custom packaging maybe. Maybe that's one easy solution. Maybe change the color of the box, you know, completely or the packaging or design of it. Maybe instead of it being a square box, it's a, you know, I don't know, triangle or, you know, not triangle or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like make it a different shape, um, you know, make it a different look, a different feel um, that way there. Uh, you know, if they're using this exact same pictures of yours, then my question would be, well, how did they get their logo? on it. If they're doing a Photoshop deal, well, then they kind of swiped your image. Um, well, then you can send in something to, you know, Amazon and say that, you know, they're, I guess, copywriting your trademark thing or whatever, if it's trademarked. I, I don't know if I'd go down that road, but what I, I guess what I'm saying is I would really need to know if this was your unique product that you had manufactured to your specs, or is it something that you just private labeled like everyone else? And if it is, then there's not a whole heck that you're going to, a whole heck of a lot you're going to do um, with that unless you're just going to, again, change the packaging to make it look different color wise, shape wise, something like that. As far as them patenting it, I mean, they would run down the same road that you would, you know, whether it could be or not. And then you'd have to contact an attorney to see if it was possible. I probably, I mean, I don't know how, if they're going to take all of your sales, they're taking some, but I don't think they're going to take all of them. I would probably start looking at product number two and how I could then marry those two together. So one helps promote the other. Cause obviously if you have a hundred sales a day or even 70 sales a day, you've got a nice little, you know, product there that's getting a lot of traffic to that every day they could also see other products that you have by 
uh, you know, seeing the little promotions tab down below that will, you can plug that in by adding a uh, promotion inside of your listing. So that would be my advice on that. Uh, I know it wasn't direct advice again, cause I don't have all of the specifics, but I hope that that's helped. And I hope that that's given you some direction as to where you should move. That's what I would personally be looking at and what I would be, you know, thinking about. So, uh, yeah, so I, I hope that that's answered. And hey, thanks so much for that question. Um, all the way from uh, Singapore. That is, that's awesome. It's amazing. If you guys want to submit a question, head over to the amazing seller.com forward slash ask, and you can do that. I want to also, again, remind you guys, if you're brand new and this is your first time to the show, I want to welcome you. I love hanging out with you guys. This is just awesome to be able to virtually connect like this, and that's why I love the Ask Scott sessions, but if you are brand new and you're just getting your feet wet and you don't understand the entire process, the entire business model, I would recommend attending one of my live free workshops. This is where I break it down for you in five phases. How to pick a market and a product, how to source it, how to do a pre-launch, how to do a launch, how to promote the product, and everything in between. We go over that on a workshop, and uh, we, we go through every single thing. We also do live Q&A. So if you want to attend one of them, I would love to invite you to the next one, and you can register for the next one by heading over to theamazingseller.com forward slash workshop, and you can register there for an upcoming workshop. Well, hey there. Thank you so much for listening to that episode of Ask Scott. Now, that was just a highlight from one of our full episodes where I generally answer three to four questions on a podcast. If you want to go back and listen to all of the past archives of not just the Ask Scott session, but all of the full episodes where I do interviews with top Amazon sellers, people starting from scratch and building a business, if you want to listen to any of those episodes, head over to theamazingseller.com and you can find all of that over there. You can also find details there on how you can ask your own question and get it aired on an upcoming Ask Scott session and possibly see it here on YouTube or just on the podcast. All right, so definitely head over to theamazingseller.com. There's tons of resources over there for you to be able to build your e-commerce and Amazon business. So definitely go check that out. Now, I just wanted to remind you one thing before I let you go. There's a lot of information out there and some of it is really, really good. But what I want you to remember is you have to not just consume the information, you have to actually apply that information. So take this information that you learned here today and apply it to your business. And this way here, you can get results. As my shirt says, I wear it almost daily. Take action. We'll see you guys.